Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Plants vs Zombies. After the fun we had with the mini game last episode, I thought we'd get back to the main playthrough now. And the new zombie this time is a Zomboni. Who, yes, I'm just going to leave a, a trail of ice behind him, which is sure is going to cause problems. So, what are we going to deal with that? Start off with the usuals. In fact, let's put that first. There we go. Like that, and we'll have walnuts, and we'll have tangle kelp. Squash, I think, is going to be our weapon of choice for that guy, and we'll finish it off with a cherry bomb, and just in case, we'll take the jalapeno as well. So let's rock. Another rake there. I think that might be our last one. So, let's do the usual. Let's start by getting some sunlight. And we should be able to get three daisies out this time. Sunflowers out rather this time. And then we'll start putting down pea shooters. The zombies are coming. And in your face, Mr. Zombie. Get another sunflower out. There we go, here's our first zombie, so we'll stick you down there and you shall make sure work of that. Let's get another sunflower out. More sunflowers, more sunlight, more sunlight, the more plants we can place. So there we go, and there you go, deal with that one. And start putting some defenses down in here. Right, we're going to need one of you, I think. Uh, we will pop a second pea shooter in there just to get rid of him quickly. Right, only two flags this level. So, only two hordes coming. Let's pop you there. We've got most of our basic defences out now. So let's get some more sunflowers out. Pop those there. Another sunflower. One more sunflower and that'll be a lot. Defend that though. Stick a walnut there. And another pea shooter. That'll sort the cone head out. I'm just going to rely on the kelp there to take care of that uh, cone head with the ducky. But uh, what we will do is get a lily pad there. In preparation for that. There we go. Pop another kelp in its place. There we go. Right, we've got all the sunflowers we need now. So it's now just a question of firming up our defences a bit. Uh, let's... Right, we're just about. We've got a horde coming, so I think we're probably tough enough to deal with things. I want to get about 200 sunlight. So we buy 200. There we go. Alright, so let's see, see what's coming and let's see what we want to blow up. No Zomboni! I think. Yeah, that's right. There we go. And there we go. Now we have a Zomboni. Right. Yeah, I thought that would work. Guy there, another guy there. And I think we need to start upping our water defences here a bit. Right, 
not. in the water there and I think we'll do one more of those and I think that's probably our, wa our water defense is sorted out so now it's just a case of waiting for the final horde which I feel we can quite comfortably blow up and let's face it what else would you want to do with the zombie horde in your life Take him out before he gets to the kelp. Be interesting to see. Let's call this science. Yes, quite easily is the answer. Quite easily. Uh, no. I was going to start putting those out, but I think we're too close to the final horde coming now. I want that guy ready. a long time I'm impressed a huge web of zombies is approaching right you first thank you won't say no to another diamond and we'll blow up this side seems to be the one side with the more zombies and be honest with you let's get up with the man. Weed. Pops tires and hurts zombies that step on it. Nice. So guys, until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Plants vs. Zombies. Thank you, and good night.